All right, hey guys, how you doing? This is Isaiah Brighty coming at you with another video. And this video is gonna be a continuation of, I just I just kicked the, uh, the dilly there, sorry about that. But this video is gonna be another video on the continuation of me going over, I think I got, got it now, of me going over the new proposed rule changes. Now again, these rule changes, um, they, the notice and comment period runs on them. Uh, I think it started on February 3rd all the way up to March 7th. So during that time, if you want to put in your comment, you'll simply go in. Um, you can even find the notice and comment window on the Oklahoma Medical Marijuana Authority website. It's there at the, the header part of the uh, homepage. Uh, but going into the document, we're going to start back on page 44 under inspection. Now there have been a little bit of changes here. Uh, going down to part C, the department shall, shall conduct one on-site inspection at a testing laboratory applicant prior to the initial licensure and one on-site inspection annually thereafter. So that's speaking specifically to the testing facilities that they're going to get um, an initial inspection, uh, I guess all of their equipment and everything like that um, uh, before um, they even, uh, even get their license. Going forward from there, we're gonna to go to page 45. And uh, this was a little bit of a buried provision in here. Um, and it uh, basically lays out that um, licensees shall be afforded at least 24 hours notice uh, to secure legal representation prior to any interviews, uh, fair to make documents or other requests and in requested information available to the department and or refusal to appear uh, or cooperate with an interview um, shall constitute grounds for non-renewal, suspension, or revocation of a license, uh, or any other remedy or relief available under the law. Woo, okay, I didn't even catch that when I first read it. Um, uh, all records shall be kept on site and readily accessible. Okay, so there they're doing a couple things. So number one, <clears throat> If you're ever going to it, if you're ever under investigation with the Oklahoma Medical Marijuana Authority, uh, they only have to give you 24 hours notice of of them popping up at your place of business. Um, two, um, you are um, you are be allowed to uh, get legal counsel uh, within that 24 hour period. Um, three, uh, failure to make documents or uh, do uh, in, uh, in interviews uh, while you're under investigation will be grounds for non-renewal of your license, suspension of your license, uh, or a termination of your license. Um, and uh, if I'm reading this cor correctly, any other remedy or relief available to you under the law. So basically, uh, I think they're trying to preempt you having your um, your right to having a administrative hearing on matters, uh, which is quite interesting in and of itself as to whether or not the authority can do that. Uh, I have to look at um, some of the administrative rules on things and also to the organic law. Uh, under which the Oklahoma Medical Marijuana Authority was was made. Um, that's a very, very severe repercussion uh, right there in and of itself. Um, moving forward to page 46. Um, this is speaking to your dispensary reports uh, with your uh, monthly reporting. So they've made a change here. So instead of reporting um, who all you bought the marijuana from as far as buying it from a processor or buying it from a dispenser or you're buying it from a grow, all those kind of things. You just have to report the amount of marijuana that you purchased in pounds. And also too, you only have to re report the amount of marijuana sold or otherwise transferred in pounds. Um, going on from there, most of the provisions around uh, your monthly reporting are still the same. Um, they just changed out sold to be to read sold or otherwise transferred. Um, now that's a little interesting because technically you can't freely give medical marijuana away under the statute. Um, you have to give some form of consideration, uh, whether they even be a penny. Um, so there's not necessarily a transfer of ownership of medical marijuana without some type of consideration involved. So it's weird that they chose that language. Page 47, 
um, number four at the top of the page. Uh, submission of information and data to the department through, okay, this is speaking to, again, your, uh, and your monthly reportings. It's basically saying that you can use either the Oklahoma Medical Marijuana Authority's monthly reporting framework or another framework that corresponds with the Oklahoma Medical Marijuana Authority framework. Going on from there, let's see here. We're gonna go into uh, patient information in our next video. Uh, you guys be sure to tune in. Thank you.